There's a lot of history and culture that are driving the historically black colleges and universities. The boys have an opportunity to thrive at an HBCU because they're pushed by like-minded individuals, they're pushed by individuals who share the same culture, individuals who probably have had the same struggles. It just allows them and it kind of fortifies their mentality a little bit more that there are others that are going through what they've gone through, but they're able to push just as hard as they are and ultimately set themselves apart. I feel relaxed, you know, I feel calm, you know, just being around, you know, other black brothers, you know, I just feel calm and at peace. I feel like I can just be myself. It was just a community that is focused on uplifting black people and bringing education, like, to the number one priority. The goal is to find a good job once you leave the university, and I feel like the university does a good job of doing that. No matter what your major is, what you got criminal justice, mm -hmm. business administration, It's a program that will enable you to go out to the real world and to understand business, to understand the academics of teaching this, uh, music theory. This allowed me to see that, oh, if you want to choose music as your profession, they actually care. I'll be like a surrogate parent. I kick in your butt when I have to. <laughs> I extend your brain because I need to do that. And I'm going to support you so you won't fall down. Like, I got a chance to actually go play on a drum set. It was like perfectly set up and it was just set up in a musical environment. <laughs> so that gave me the opportunity to like get a feel of how it would be to play at that school. It was life changing. It was just like a welcoming hug from like someone you know. It's a huge opportunity that people of color don't usually have. <laughs> So now, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk past the other classroom door and I'm gonna take you towards the kids. It's important for them to understand that Although the people that are around them may have gone through the same struggles, they made it out of their struggles and they've set themselves up in the world to have opportunities to be able to do great things, become CEOs, become future leaders of the world, to ultimately get out of the initial situation that they felt they were in before. In the four campuses that we toured, they all supported each other. Because usually when you go to like different schools, you see like that, that college like, oh, go come to here because of all these different reasons. But at these different HBCU colleges, they're like, as long as you go to an HBCU, you'll be happy. <laughs> the way I would describe the environment of an HBCU is very fun, very lively, uh, very family oriented, um, just a place where everybody feels welcome. <laughs> exposed to drums and dancing. And it was just so different than anything I've experienced before. It was almost like a culture shock, actually. It was definitely a fun environment. Um, everybody was themselves. And not only that, we got to see another side of everybody that was there with us. Like, yeah, all the guys were there, but like also like the teachers. We got to see a different like teacher that we didn't always see in school. He like, wow, like this guy, like this is the guy that I walk around the same hall with. Like this is how he is outside of school. Like that's awesome. Being able to to go through the uh, Washington D.C. and just learn about the African American sites in, in Washington D.C. was very very important, and just being able to go to the, the Capitol, being able to to visit the Martin Luther King statue, were, were was impactful. You know, as like a black man, I may not have like the same opportunities as like other people. You know. So that's like, you know, I'm always gonna have like a chip on my shoulder to just be great. And I love that feeling, you know, just wanting to be great and prove myself as a black male in America. And HBCU to me, honestly, like kind of shows me like a light of hope to show like the little light that like black people have power as well.
We build character here. Character matters. And it's moments like this that really make a statement as to who we are and what we do as an institution.